In this video, we're going to look at working with the individual EQ bands that are available. Now, I've got it on a backup vocal phrase that's fairly sibilant, and I've got everything dialed down, so we're not going to hear anything. I'll bypass it anyway. And here's what it sounds like as is. Stuck inside another man's crime. So it's very sibilant. Now, what we can do in the EQ section here is we can create bands of EQ simply by hovering the mouse over the curved display. And on the top, a blue dotted line, which is the voice band, appears. And we can just click and drag, and it'll create a band. And on the bottom, we can create a sibilant band over here. Now, there's different zones for the voiced and sibilant bands and how they can be created. And there's four bands of EQ available in each. Now, the voiced path can have a bell shape, high shelf, or air band on top here. The sibilant path can have a bell, a high shelf, or a low pass band. So we can simply click and drag, but there are different zones that we can click in to create them by default. Now, the way it works is on the left here, if we click on the top or the bottom, we get a bell band. And you can see here, that I'm just clicking and dragging and it's adjusting that bell band and we see it in the display. And I'm gonna right click just to get rid of it for the moment. And we can do the same thing there, just click and drag to create a bell shaped band. Now on the bottom in the sibilant path, we can click in the middle and we can create a high shelf over there. And if we go more to the right, it'll be an actual low pass filter like that. And on the top, we can create the high shelf over there, and that's the air band. So let's set the sensitivity here, and we'll work on the different types of bands here and see how we can apply it. So let's solo this and dial this up. Stuck inside another... And I'll just listen there. So that sounds pretty good. So let's start by dialing in a band that's maybe a high shelf like this because that'll probably work nicely and we'll adjust it as we need. Stuck inside another man's and I'm going to put this into off mode just so it's always working. Stuck inside and let's dial up some amount now. Stuck inside another man's crime. All right, that's actually pretty natural. Now we can adjust these bands once they're created. We can drag left and right to adjust the frequency. We can drag up and down, of course, to adjust the amplitude, and we can shift click and drag to adjust the slope in this case. We can see a little resonance peak there even, but when we're working with bell bands, we can use that to adjust the Q, so that's with the shift key. Now we can double click a band to simply bypass it, so you can leave them there and just double click them on and off. In fact, I'll double click this one right now to disable it, and of course we can right click to change the shape of it or remove it or reset it. So this is sounding pretty natural. Let me just adjust it again to taste. Stuck inside another man's crime. Stuck inside another man's crime. So that's pretty natural. Now, if we're rolling that off, we might want to make up an air band on the voiced part to sort of compensate in case we're losing too much. Let me demonstrate by pulling out maybe a little more than I might otherwise pull out here. And I'm going to use some smoothing as well. Stuck inside another man's crime. Stuck inside. All right, that's sounding good, but maybe a little bit too much is being taken out. So we can just click and drag here and create an air band. Stuck inside another man's crime. And in the monitoring section, we've seen how we can monitor only the voiced part or the sibilant part or focus on the sibilants, but we can also turn on and off the voiced pathway or the voiced bands of EQ or the sibilant bands of EQ. So here it is without this air band. Stuck inside another man's crime. And with it. Stuck inside another man's crime. That's great. Now let's say I'm going to double click it to bypass it and I want to experiment with a bell shaped band. I'm going to shift click to make a wider Q and let's adjust that. Stuck inside another man's crime. Stuck inside another man's crime. So a slightly different kind of response. They both work. And of course, with the airband compensating, it's nice and smooth. And that's what we call split band de-essing because we're splitting the signal here and just performing the de-essing on part of it. So that's an idea of how the individual EQ bands work. And we also have an auto zoom function here where we zoom the amplitude automatically. And when that's off in manual mode, we can use our scroll wheel to adjust like that and get a different scale for the zooming. So you can turn that on and off there. Let's look at one more example. Here's a lead vocal line, and I'm going to play a few without this. 
So I turn to rapid eye. I'm playing deep inside. So a lot of sibilance there. I've got the sensitivity adjusted, so it's grabbing it, and these are all off. Let's start by using a band like this with a nice wide cue, and we'll try and zero in on that. And I'm going to dial the amount up so we can really hear it in a bit of smoothing. So I turn to rapid eye. I'm playing deep inside. So I turn to rapid eye. I'm playing deep inside. And your touch is always near. That's sounding nice. It's only natural to feel this way. I'll be the villain in a cowboy film, make it easier. So those S's are nice and smooth now. So I turn to rapid eye. Nice, maybe a little less amount. So I turn to rapid eye. That's nice, it preserves the attack, but it's not overly strident. And again, I can make some of it up with a little bit of this. So I turn to rapid eye. I'm playing deep inside. That side there needs a lot. So I turn to rapid eye. I'm playing deep inside. In this case, I might try, I'm going to remove this one, a wide band. I think it might work better. So I turn to rapid eye. I'm playing deep inside. Yeah. So a couple of choices there, and of course we can always just turn this off and use the auto-sensing and see how that works. So with no EQ at all, let's dial this up. So I turn to rapid eye, I'm playing deep inside. That's nice too, maybe with that and a little less amount and a little bit of parallel mix in there. So I turn to rapid eye, I'm playing deep inside. So lots of ways to skin a cat. We'll continue with more in the next video.